Welcome everybody to our coverage of the 2021 Pro Masters Disc Golf World Championships in Johnson City, Tennessee, powered by Infinite Discs. This is our FP40 lead card round one front nine coverage brought to you by us here at B-Dub Pro on behalf of the PDGA. Commentary will be provided today by myself, Cameron Killing, and my good friend, Curtis Maroney. Let's hop right into our player profiles with Elaine King from Durham, North Carolina, your defending FP40 world champion. Up next out of Gilbert, Arizona is Jennifer Allen. This is her first time competing at Masters Worlds. Up next, Owen Scoggins from Los Angeles, California, who also is a first-timer competing at Masters Worlds this year. And last but not least is Kimberly Gianola from St. Joseph, Missouri, who took 7th in the 2019 Masters World Championships. And here we are at hole 1, 229-foot par 3, up the hill. How much elevation change do you think we're getting here, Curtis? Um, probably around 15 feet uphill. The place probably a flip up hyzer up the hill, and then you'll get inside the circle. Starting us off is Miss Elaine King, who is the most winningest female disc golfer in history with 300 career wins. Impressive. That's pretty insane. Also, the defending FP40 world champion. There was not a tournament in 2020 due to coronavirus, but uh, in 2019 she took the win. Jennifer Allen, first time out here, puts it up inside the circle. Oh, throwing a good shot. Leaking out right. Still inside the circle. Kimberly Gianola. There's the flip up visor right there. Oh, just right, comes up just a little short outside circle's edge. Nice up shot. Textbook play there. Gonna give her a nice easy tap in par to start her round. Oh, nice bit. Oh, just to the right, but Woo. another good run. And Owen starting off hot with a birdie. That's the way you want to start right there. Yeah, that's definitely the preferred way to start around. Mm -hmm. I do not usually start with a birdie, so it uh, must be really nice. <laughs> Great bird there from Jennifer Allen. And we'll see a couple of tap-ins from Elaine and Kim, and then we will head on to hole two. Hole two, 246 foot par three. Um, this one's pretty straightforward and pretty straight ahead of you. Yeah. You just uh, want to avoid the trees, I think. What'd you throw here, Curtis? Well, I'd probably throw a putter because you want to control the speed going down the hill. Jennifer Allen's going with mid-range. A little stable, but a great kick and a fantastic roll back wow. towards the basket. Couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Take that off of the. Well, that's looking good as long as it misses that. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. So close to an ace. Owen hits the front of the basket. She is looking for an ace today, I think. Yeah. Solid throw from Elaine. Probably just inside the circle? I think barely just outside. Maybe inside, I don't know. This one's leaking out left. A little sawed off. Probably just outside circle's edge. Yeah, around 40 feet. Smart play. Elaine. Yep, inside circle. Bangs it. Great bird. Jennifer Allen with the turbo. You're going to see a lot of this today. She does it when she's really close. Solid birdie. Two for two for Jennifer Allen. On tapping in the bird. And Kim with a easy tap in par here. Oh. 
on to hole three, 280 foot par three. Uh, this one is a little bit to the right and a lot more trees than the last hole. There's two fairways. You could either go the slow turnover on the on the left, or you could do a little hyzer, kind of poking up through the trees though on the right. Yeah, not too much of a gap on either side. You gotta really play some technical disc golf on this hole. A little high and might have the turn to oh. Oh, favorable kick. Um, throwing the straight shot. Oh, didn't get all the turns she wanted. Just like edge of circle. Not bad. Definitely a makeable putt for on. Elaine turned it over just a little bit too much. I think she was trying to go down the middle. But still, it fights through and it's up there. She's got a putt from inside the circle. And Kim looking to get up there as well. Looks like she might have got caught up. Mm. Oh, Jennifer with a big bid. Gonna give herself an easy tap in. Kimberly. Running it. Oh, oh that was a good putt, though. Good bid. Oh, so down. Roll. Oh, no. Ooh. Test her. And on starting her round off with a turkey, folks. That's a Big great way to start right there. Three down through three. Oh, oh off the cage. All right, this is for par. Around 20 feet. Makes it nice. Good comebacker. Solid par save from Kim. And a couple of tap-ins there for Jennifer and Elaine. And moving on to the open here, hole four, 385 foot, par three. Um, you want to stay to the left because on the right side, if you go into the tree line, the grass just kind of drops off and there is a really steep, empty creek bed. I don't know what it is, but yeah. it's just, OB over a there depression too. in the ground. Gotta stay out of OB. Stay clean. Looks like Owen's going forehand off the tee. Oh. Ooh. Awkward release, and it luckily stops rolling before it gets to the edge. Oh, this is the high turn one play. You gotta push it pretty straight before it turns, or you'll go right into the OB like that. Yep, unfortunate. And uh, Curtis, it looks like, uh, as we zoom out here, it looks like on the screen you might have picked up a cobweb <laughs> from one of the billions of spiders that live here in this forest. Yep, I didn't notice that. Oh, and with the upshot. Perfectly executed. Good play. After OB drive, throwing a forehand to get up there. Ooh, leaves it a little, little sh out left. Probably circles edge. And Jennifer puts it up and pretty much parks it right under the basket there. Elaine King throwing her up shot. Probably 15 out. This is Kim for four after going OB on her drive. Nice, good Great thought. save. Thank you. On with the par. And Jennifer turbo tapping her bogey in after going OB, but a good save nonetheless. Hole five, 277 feet. Uh, this one's pretty much just a simple hyzer out to the right and you want it to fade back left 
and get you up to the green. Yep, you don't want to push too far straight, it'll be in the woods, or if you saw off left, it'll be in the woods also, making the putt a little bit harder. Um, throwing it just a little bit left, sawing off just a tiny bit. Maybe a little bit early of a release there for your lane throw looking great. Oh, it ends up fading just a little bit left, but she's going to be just outside the circle, maybe just inside. Jennifer's looking real nice. Ooh. Oh, long skip. Going to give her a tester there, but that was a fantastic drive. Nice run. I think we're going to see quite a few ace runs from Jennifer Allen today. Kimberly throwing a great shot, maybe pushing just a little too straight. Oh, hits the last tree, stopping it. Outside circle. Just outside. <laughs> Give her a 34 footer. Maybe a little soft there from Jen. I think she wanted to put a little bit more weight behind that. Birdie putt. Ooh. Cashes it. Killer birdie from circle two. Excellent putt. Patting the circle two stats right there. Oh, and Elaine misses just left. Burn. Oh, Scoggins can't miss right now. She is arguably <laughs> the best putter in yeah. women's disc golf today. Mm -hmm. So, always a treat to have her on coverage, always a treat to watch her just bang out awesome putts. And a par there from Jennifer after her drive just skipped way too far. Hole six, moving uphill, 280 feet. You start off with some uh, tree coverage in the woods and then it opens up for you and you gotta get it to get the right height and hang far enough to the left to get you in the circle for a putt. It's hard to get over those rocks before the, before the basket. We gotta really pump one up there. Yeah, that is a lot of uphill. Yeah. A little bit too much turn. Still on the open, easy upshot. I'd say this 280 is probably playing closer to 350, honestly. Yeah. Yep, same thing, just a lot of distance cover. See if Jennifer can get it up there. Whoa, and the rocks kind of flare her up, and she's mm -hmm. going to have a long putt. If the rocks were in there, that's parked. That's a great upshot from Elaine. Great upshot from Kimberly. Kind of park herself. Oh, I'm doing a jump putt up there. Leaves it like 10 short. Jennifer kind of half run it there. I think we're going to see a nice little par frame here, which uh, is not bad for how uphill this hole is. Lots of elevation change. Elaine and Jennifer got to start getting some breaks to catch up with Owen. Yeah, Owen is sort of running away with it here, just in the first little third of the course, but there's uh, 12 holes left to play, so see if anyone can make some moves. Solid par frame. Hole 7, our first par 4 of the day. 382 feet, you gotta go down and then like back up. And you got this nice tree right in the middle of the fairway that we're looking at. So uh, really whatever you can to get around that tree and put yourself up inside the circle for a nice easy putt. Mm -hmm. It goes uphill pretty significantly also. Yeah, I think with these drive, the players are just really trying to get as far up the front or the you know the front yeah. side of that hill as possible. And stay in the fairway. Yeah, definitely want to <laughs> stay in the fairway here. If you're out in those trees, oh, oh I think that helped those branches end up helping her and yep. kept her in the fairway. Turnover. Oh, nice turn there from Elaine. 
Good uphill skip action there at the end. It opens up the hyzer up, up the hill. Oh, Jen's going big distance off this drive. I'll take my partner. Dang. <laughs> a little farther right. Still so much distance. Kimberly going forehand up the hill. Turns it over just a little bit too much. Outside circle. Owen throwing a backhand. Hitting the gap. Inside circle. For a birdie. Elaine throwing it up. She is going to be parked. Jennifer with the tough little turnover. Touchy putter shot. Oh, easy putt there for Jennifer. Or this is her birdie putt. Oh, oh just left. What a great bid, though. That is tough with how far downhill you are from the basket right here. Great putt, though, from Owen Scoggins. Dead center. Five birdies so far. That's crazy. She's killing the front nine. Such a talented nice putter. Shot. Great birdie there from Elaine. And a turbo bird from our friend Jennifer Allen. And a par from Kimberly. Moving on to hole eight. Going back downhill, 426 feet, par three. This one is way out in the open. You just want to avoid those trees on the right side, kind of shut you off from having a look at the basket. And uh, you don't, when you get up there closer, you don't want to run it long and have to be putting from the trees behind the basket either. This one's hard to get to. It's a little far, even even downhill. Yeah, it's a pump. Oh, oh, oh my God. Um, Turn over the forehand just a little bit too much. Ooh, and Elaine just kind of rides the hill all the way to the bottom there. Jennifer has the power to get there. Oh yeah, it's got the turn too. She's got to fade out. She's telling it to fade. Telling it to fade. Oh, and the oh. tree ends up catching her disc. She's going to have a long look at the basket there. Maybe 65, 70 feet. Can really throw a textbook forehand. Just dead center fairway. Thank you. This is that tree and gives herself a nice easy putt. Oh, that's money. Elaine has so much control. She's been playing for a long time. Yeah, she's been a PDGA member since 1985. It's crazy. Fifteen footer for Elaine. This for a par. It's crazy to think that she's probably made a million of those in her oh lifetime. My, so many. Too many to count. And a good old fashioned par frame there. On hole eight. And moving on to our last hole of the front nine, hole nine, 206 foot. Par three, you see the white line uh, next to that concrete ditch. Everything left of the, of the white line is OB. Uh, no OB to the right of the trees, but you will not have a look at the basket from there. Yeah, the only mistake is going left in that, that goalie thing. Oh, yeah. oh. And Rich. Owen puts herself out of bounds right away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. not bad. She should have a look at it. She might even have a gap between those trees right there. Jennifer, what a perfect Get it. turn. Get it. Oh, oh my goodness! So close. She smacks the chains there. We're gonna watch that again real fast in slow mo. These girls are haunting aces. That's such a great turnover shot too. Gets right there. Oh, so close. Oh. If it, it was like four inches right, it would stuck. She hit that thing hard. I came in with some. Okay, we're going with the forehand play. Looking real good. Oh, oh caught by that little trio of trees up there. Those are the only trees to miss. Um, gonna be just inside the circle, maybe? Right, circle. Oh, just outside the circle. 
Good bid from Malay. Oh, and probably 35 outside circle for her bogey. Oh, oh off the top. Looks like she's going to settle for a double bogey. She's tap in for the double. Oh, and misses just behind it. Great run for the bird. You just don't want to leave him short. Definitely not. Easy par there, though, for Kim. Hold on, Jim. Nice easy par for Elaine. And a sweet solo bird here from Jennifer. Go with the turbo. Killer ace run. And uh, yep, Owen tapped out the double. We did not capture that, unfortunately. Take a look at the scorecard. You can see Owen Scoggins and Jennifer Allen tied for the lead with neck three, with Elaine King just one stroke behind them, and Kimberly rounding out the card with an even par. Uh, make sure to follow the PDGA on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at PDGA, or go to our website, pdga.com, and sign up for a PDGA membership.